Welcome to Design Fusion YouTube video channel. My name is Sanket Patel and I am an application specialist at Design Fusion. In this video, we are going to perform a thermal flow analysis in an XFlow EFD. Here you can see that I have one enclosure and we are going to check the cooling performance of this uh, particular electrical enclosure system where this fan blow air inside and coming out a hot air from three slates. I have considered uh, this uh, lead, simplified lead in a simulation model and we are going to check the thermal flow parameter at this magenta 3 surface from where our hot air exhaust. You can right away launch a wizard and name your project and select the configuration as per your requirement. You can also select the unit system as you want. Uh, here I need pressure A as inch water and uh, volume flow rate as a CFM. I have select that and uh, in physical parameter I am going to consider conduction and it is an external type analysis. So once it is selected I can go ahead and select air as a default fluid and stainless steel as my default solid material i will keep all the initial condition as a standard pressure and temperature once i finish it create a project for me and define a combinational domain so it is big combinational domain for me so i will adjust the size of that once i adjust the size of fluid domain i can right away go ahead and hide my computational domain Computation domain uh, is the things on that particular volume sim uh, simulation will happen. So let's go ahead and define a material to our solid. So in this case, I'm going to define a PCB material to this three PCB. So you can right away select everything from your assembly navigator same way uh, I, I need to define uh, material to my small chip and main chip I have defined that and next I will define a material to my heat sink which is uh, connected to my uh, main chip so we know that uh, heat sink made from the aluminium so I will define aluminium material to my heat sink and lastly I'm not considering a fan uh, because I don't need uh, thermal behavior on my fan. So I have applied insulator material to that fan lead. Next step is defining a internal type of fan. So I will select my uh, intake of the fan and the exhaust would be this uh, green surface and it would be the axial fan and type would be the papas 412 so it is a default fan available in a flow EFD library and has a maximum flow rate about uh, 6.5 cfm next thing is we need to define a volume source heat source to that our small chip so i can select a small chip right away from that assembly navigator and the same way I need to define the 5 watt of uh, heat uh, to the main chip so it will generate that much of the heat uh, next step is I have the capacitor which are running at the constant temperature and uh, I have defined 38 degrees Celsius temperature to my three capacitor and lastly our power supply is running at 50 degrees celsius so i have defined the constant temperature to my power supply once our heat source is defined next important thing is defining the goal which consider uh, for uh, simulation conversions and to check some details such as i consider global goal plot uh, for static pressure and fluid temperature next thing is that i need to check the flow parameter of the on exhaust of this enclosure so i have selected three magenta surface and need to check the static pressure at that particular location 
Lastly, I am interested to know the what would be the maximum temperature on that uh, main chip and small chip. So I have selected my small chip and defined the uh, volume goal on that so I can check what would be the maximum uh, temperature at the end of the simulation and same way I require those data on my main chip. So once my goal is defined, I need to hide that uh, three exhaust slit. So for that, we need to disable these three uh, outlet leads because it is not part of the simulation. So I have disabled that component and also hide that component. So lastly, uh, we need to create or define our mass so it can capture all the thermal and flow details for our analysis. So I need refinement level 1 for my solid and fluid and where we our fluid is in contact with the solid I need refinement level 2 and need uh, at least two cell in a small or the narrow channel so I have de defined the refinement level 5 and also adjust few of the advanced refinement parameter once my mass parameter defined I hit ok and let's go ahead and hide our basic mass and quickly create our mass so once you uh, hit on the uh, creating mass, it will create the mass for you and give the output. So that much cell is created. So you can right away create a plot for to review your mass, uh, like how my mass is to look like. So you can check it visually. If there is something wrong, you can redefine your mass parameter and rerun. So everything looks good for me from top to bottom, but I am also interested to check how, like, how my mass is created on all the component inside this enclosure. So I can also check it quickly using a surface plot. So here you can see that uh, all my detail is capturing. I'm good with that. Let's clear and hide the surface plot and run our simulation very quickly. So now it is solving and uh, you can track your solution using this monitor where it allow you to track down all your defined goals Moreover, it also helps you to visualize curve plot where you can check the temperature profile, pressure profile, velocity profile and whatnot. If you can f you find something is going wrong, uh, you can check in monitor and re re redefine everything. But everything is good for me. My simulation is solved and let's review the result using curve plot. So I need to check the velocity or the flow profile in the middle of this fan. So I have managed the plane at the middle and I need to check the velocity for that particular region. So you can visualize this very easily. You can also on your velocity vector which allow you to analyze how my flow is going on using the vector. And this is my temperature profile. Everything looks good for me at that particular case. Let's review the result further down. So you can quickly clone your cut plot and uh, and analyze the result at different uh, location. So all the parameter is same. I just need to redefine the location of the plane and here. I have my temperature profile with velocity vector. So cold air is coming in from the fan and hot air is going out from the exhaust. So this is uh, what we want 
and you can also check the velocity uh, profile how much velocity is where so you can know the convection uh, profile of your cooling system so to check my result in detail I need a temperature profile on my small chip and main chip so you can right away create a surface plot and check that things so you can also manage your uh, maximum temperature for the plot right away and here you can see everything is good but this four chip looks uh, at higher temperature I'm suspecting because we are getting very low veloc air velocity at that particular region and that is why uh, we are getting higher temperature on this four chip so I'm good with that so let's review that how my flow is going inside the electrical enclosure so I can right away take advantages of flow trajectory where I will see it, uh, 40 seen on this exhaust of the fan and I can review the flow using this trajectory so you can get better idea like where my flow is going so everything is look good for me and for the better understanding you can also play this flow tra trajectory so you can check that uh, how the flow is distributing inside my electrical enclosure and uh, cooling down our system so this way you can uh, check your result moreover uh, you can also take a look of your defined goal plot that what is my static pressure what is my fluid temperature and what is the maximum temperature on the chips you can also review it using a graph moreover uh, it will also give you the idea where my fan is ready so you just have to right click and show the operating point and here you can see that our fan is running uh, efficiently uh, which provide a 5.6 cfm and, and enough uh, pressure drop to overcome a good flow rate this way in uh, flow EFT embodied with annex allow you to check the thermal and flow behavior of your system for more video, please like and subscribe our YouTube video channel. Thank you.